How do you find a problem to work on? So in my case, I've been working with the same kind of objects, elliptic curves and Galois representations attached to elliptic curves for many, many years, uh, 20 years plus. Um, so I have encountered so much along the way in terms of data, in terms of examples, in terms of things that I think are true but I don't know that they are because I, there is no theorem out there that says that they are, that I know little things that I would like to explore. Um, just I know how to compute examples, so that's already something. I can put a student to compute examples of some type of behavior or some type of, some type of example just to see if they find a pattern or uh, if we find something that oh, it looks like this is true for all primes that are congruent to one modulo four. So let's try to prove that. So if we find something like that in the data, then we try to prove that. Otherwise, if you want to find other problems to work on, you can uh, read papers. There is a lot of papers posted in the mathematical archive every day. So you can read papers and in many papers there are questions left out in the paper uh, that there are remarks in the paper that said, um, we think this is true, but we don't know how to prove it. Or you might read a theorem and say, oh, I can prove that. But in this other case, or I can do an analog of this in this other scenario. And then you can write a paper in that way. And finally, conferences. You go to a conference and there are talks and talks and talks. And in many talks, people talk about uh, open problems and things they couldn't do or things that one would like to do. And they, uh, more senior people, suggest problems during conferences. You know, they say like, okay, for those uh, younger uh, mathematicians in the audience, it would be nice if someone did this. And then you can go home and try to do that.